Okay then guys, what's going on? Cloud Plays here and welcome back to another video here on the channel. Today we're inside of Hogwarts Legacy and we're going to be showing you guys an amazing farm to get XP. This will also get you a cool piece of gear for your main customizable clothing so you can thank me later because it's drippy as hell. But irrelevant to it, we're going to be showing you guys the fastest way to get XP as of right now. So if you haven't already, smash that beautiful blue thumbs up and subscribe. Post notifications turned on, it'd be greatly appreciated. Also, when we hit 50,000 subscribers, we're going to be giving away an Xbox Series S plus a game of your choice. If you want to get involved with it, what you have to do is go down to the description and follow me on either Instagram or Twitter. Once you've done that, make sure you're a subscriber here on the channel and leave a comment on this video of your username and the platform you followed me on. With that being said, let's dive on in to the main XP farm. So starting off, we're going to want to head up to the main north area of the map where we're going to be going to the east north Ford Bog. From there, we're going to be making our travels up to a battle arena in the northeast part of the map, as you can see right here. This is going to be the main place that you guys are going to farm your XP. And I know you're thinking this is just a battle arena, but actually there's a really easy way of being able to guarantee this and just farm the XP like it's going out of fashion. So the battle arena... For those of you guys who don't know, you have to fight waves of enemies in this combat challenge. Now, you don't just go there and start it up. When you do get here, you will find out that there are going to be 20 vases around the battle arena that you do have to destroy. As to why, I, I don't actually know, but you have to go around and take out these 20 vases all the same. They're not that hidden. They're all quite easy to get to, and if you use Revelio, it shows you exactly where they are. So you just go ahead and take out all 20 of those, and that is going to open up the battle arena now once you get to the point where you have the last vase opened ready you want to take that last one out and it is going to set you up in this area here where it is going to open up a statue and enable you guys to be able to jump into the battle arena but what we're going to do is we are going to go into our settings and we're going to go into the in-game settings and change up our storyline basis so we're going from difficulty down to story which is essentially the easiest version of the game that you can potentially play and we are going to jump straight into the battle arena from here now the difficulty doesn't actually determine how it is you gain xp the xp is the same whether you do this on story or you do it on hard and you can change your difficulty settings at any point throughout your playthrough which i find extremely weird but irrelevant to it once you go in it is going to be as simple as just fighting the waves of enemies it starts off quite tame quite easy quite simple and then it will progressively get a little bit harder as you go through but because you've put it on story you're just going to fly through this really really quickly i am at this point in the recording i believe 24 or 25 you'll see at the end of the recording you pretty much gain a level every 10 to 15 minutes with this which is pretty insane to be completely honest i think it works out just shy of an entire level that we managed to obtain throughout this one playthrough you also gain a very drip piece of gear so you can thank me later because it's now my favorite but irrelevant to it that's all we've got time for today if you guys want to go ahead and do that please let me know down in the comment section below how you got on with it and whether you actually have used it i presume it's going to be just as simple with all of the battle arenas but these spiders are extremely easy to kill as long as you're using that sort of like fire temperaments with incendo or comfringo or stuff like that it's extremely easy you just want to go ahead and complete it and get the xp repoops through and waves complete nice and enjoyable thank you so much again for watching guys appreciate all your faces if you haven't already smash that beautiful blue thumbs up subscribe post notifications turned on and as always i'll see you in the next one also if you don't know what's going on with the controversy inside of this game right now bloody hell is bonkers make sure you check out the one that's on the screen right now it's definitely one to watch